Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Welcome to my review of Batman Soul of the Dragon. I was looking forward to watching this. You know, I'm a big fan of these DC direct to video movies. <clears throat> and um, this one had an interesting twist to it because it's kind of set in the 70s uh, as a world of martial arts. And of course, Batman, you know, everybody's wearing sideburns and bell bottoms and stuff. And there's karate, there's an ancient quest, there's Batman, it kind of fits in the motif because Batman in this movie, or Bruce Wayne in this case, is uh, training with a sensei and him with a, a bunch of other students, uh, Richard Dragon, uh, Lady Shiva, and the Bronze Tiger, I believe, and I think there's two other that's uh, training with the sensei, you know, to try to develop skills and stuff and stuff. And then years later, you know, it's kind of told in flashback in a way because it kind of begins with, uh, with uh, one of the students, in particular Richard Dragon. Uh, he's... Um, actually on the quest to actually re reunite the students to come back together to protect, you know, protect this ancient uh, uh, thing that their master had. Okay, so he, he's basically going around rounding up all the students. Of course, one of his students is was AK Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman. And it's, it's got, it has this fucking kind of style with, you know, in the 70s. It has karate, and, of course, and ancient teachings and all this stuff. And, of course, Bruce Wayne, you got Lady Shiva, you got Bronze Tiger in there and stuff. And it's, you know, it's... It's cool. I like the, you know, the whole aesthetic of the 70s, you know, because, you know, those movies in the 70s with Bruce Lee and Jim Kelly and all that stuff. So it has that kind of feel to it and stuff. And yeah, it was actually pretty decent for what it is. I mean, the story is not nothing that you haven't seen before. OK, there's an ancient thing that somebody has and they and, and the evil people want to get it. And of course, and then, of course, our heroes have to team up and. And try to stop them from doing it. Basically, okay, so that's you know, this, you know, we've seen that story before. But I, I, I like, you know, I liked it because it, you know, it had that '70s type of style in it. Like I said, Richard Dragon was voiced by Mark Dacakis, who's been in a lot of those, you know, those, you know, let's face it, a lot of those bad uh, '80s movies and stuff, or is it '90s? I know that Mark Dacakis was in a lot of them. Kelly Hu plays Lady Shiva, and I like her character a lot. She's badass. And you have David Gatala. To, I think I pronounced that right. He voices Bruce Wayne slash uh, Batman. He, he, I think he did a decent job. Okay, like I said, Batman was sort of incidental to the story. In, in fact, he doesn't really change into Batman that much in the story. But it's just you know because you know it's you know it's a DC animated movie. You had to kind of throw Bat you know they throw Batman in everywhere <laughs> and stuff. But the star of this movie to me is Richard Dragon, that character, because he's he's like the total badass in this. And they have some pretty good action scenes in this and stuff. Like I said, it's it's a decent ride. The animation is style is okay, but you know, it's a 70s type of thing and you have these cool right and like and the other people that you got voice in and I think it's uh, what's his name who plays Bronze Tiger, who played it in live action. Uh Michael Jai White, he plays Ben Turner, aka the Bronze Tiger. And so he, he's in it as well. You have James Hong, you know, one of those uh actors that's been in everything. <laughs> and so it's just it's good. Okay, you have Jamie Chung in there, she even plays a a role in there as another student. Okay, like I said, it's it's a decent thing. Right? Like I said, it's nothing spectacular, is it? Yeah, nothing that you haven't seen before. But I like the '70s type of thing vibe that they threw in, threw into it. So it made it interesting and different. Okay, so I'm gonna give Batman Soul of the Dragon. I'm gonna give it a uh, a 6.8. Like I said, it's nothing spectacular. Like I said, you've seen it before, and I like the fact that they threw in the karate aspect of it and stuff. And Batman is just kind of incidental to the story, really. Okay, but it had a certain kind of style, which made me appreciate it. So I'm going to give it a 6.8. Okay. Like I said, it eh, it could have been better if, you know, but it is what it is. You know, these DC animated movies are just here to entertain you and like, they throw Batman and everything. <laughs> but I, I enjoyed it. So again, 6.8 for me. Okay. So anyway, let me know what you think. Have you seen Batman Soul of Dragon? What do you think of it? Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also have a link to my other channel, All Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. Also have a link to my Patreon channel. Please check that out if you can. And this is Trey Pass. So thanks so long. Take care.